Everybody, today we are going to talk a little bit about jaundice, newborn jaundice. Okay, see, seventy uh, percent of all the babies do have jaundice. Just about five to ten percent of them would require treatment. You know, what is this jaundice? Jaundice is basically the yellowness of the skin uh, and the eyes, most commonly seen in the eyes because the why eyes are uh, the the subcutaneous tissue is not there, the kind of connective tissue is not there. The whatever is seen in the eyes is just reflecting what is there in the blood. So it is very easily seen in the eyes. It's generally seen on the uh, third day and beyond, increases up to five days and gradually starts subsiding by about one week to ten days, sometimes up to two weeks. It's a very innocuous thing, most commonly seen in all the babies. Then who are those high risk babies, you know? Those high risk babies are those ones who are born extremely preterm starting from you know 32 weeks uh, or less than that or those very high risk categories. Even at a lesser level of jaundice, uh, the brain damage can happen or sometimes even death may happen in a preterm baby. Uh, the other risk factors are the blood group incompatibilities that is ABO incompatibility that means the mother being the O blood group and the baby being the A or B blood group. A is awful, B is bad that means B is better than A. And next is the OAO uh, RH negative incompatibility that means mother being the negative blood group and the baby being the positive blood groups. These are much severe jaundice. In fact, we get to know the trend of the the severity of the jaundice even before the baby is born in a RH incompatible mothers. That means the first time pregnant mothers, the primary mothers, you know, the risk of jaundice in a RH negative is lesser. As the, 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 the gravida increases, that means the second time mother, third time mother, the jaundice levels become much more intense in a RH negative uh, blood group. Whereas the ABO incompatibility, the first time pregnant mothers have much severe jaundice. By the second time, third time, fourth time, the intensity comes down. But by and large, the preterm babies are the most risky ones because their blood, blood brain barriers are not well established. They have a risk of permanent damage and death because of jaundice. So the, the, these are the high risk categories as we discussed about. The next thing is, why does this jaundice happen? Or why, why at all? Why should it happen to all babies? You know, when the babies are inside the mother's womb, the, 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 uh, the hemoglobin is very high. So once the baby comes out, the hemoglobin drops down because the atmospheric oxygen is much high and the baby may not need the same amount of uh, hemoglobin to sustain the oxygen levels. All that extra hemoglobin will be killed by the spleen and that comes out as bilirubin which is to be excreted in the urine and stools. So all that greenish stools what the baby passes in the first five days is mostly the bilirubin which is excreted from the liver. Okay. So you know this is how the jaundice happens as the liver gets more and more mature you know the jaundice levels are much well tolerated in babies. So as I said early, the preterm babies are at the highest risk of jaundice. Okay. Next, coming to the treatment part. Treatment is very simple. That's it's a very photosensitive pigment between the the blue lights. That is 390 and 440 nanometers. That's the blue light range. That's where uh, the bilirubin gets converted from insoluble forms to the soluble forms, which can be excreted from the urine and stools. So. So in simple, I would want to tell all the parents who are there, you know, it's a, don't worry about jaundice. It's a very simple thing, most often treated with just with a phototherapy. Rarely needs exchange transfusion or all other gory things. But in simple, in, in, in the, to assure you all of you, it's a very simple thing which can be treated without any consequence. Okay, thank you.